now, if you've been able to sift through the massive amounts of Trump trash in the news, then you might have heard a little something about this. A historic moment today in our nation's capital, Congress handing President Obama a stinging defeat, overriding his veto. The battle concerning a bill that would allow 9-11 family members to sue Saudi Arabia for an alleged role in those attacks. It is the first time he's ever had one of his vetoes reversed during his presidency. Oh, man, that must suck for President Obama. He vetoed it, they overrode it. Congress put his thing down, flipped it, and reversed it. Is your Flaminitha Fang Yang? Is your Flaminitha Fang Yang? <laughs> now, you might be wondering uh, why President Obama is trying to protect Saudi Arabia from being sued by 9-11 victims. You know, is it because he's a secret Muslim? Well, yes, but... <laughs> Obama also objected because this international lawsuit bill might come back to bite America in the ass. You see, most major countries operate under a principle called sovereign immunity, which prevents private parties like families from suing other countries. Uh, for example, it's the reason people in Nagasaki couldn't sue America for dropping the nuclear bomb, right? It's the same reason American citizens couldn't sue England for sending them Piers Morgan, you know? <laughs> you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying? So, by overriding Obama's veto, Congress has opened the door to letting other countries' citizens sue Americans in their courts. But, I mean, look, that's only an issue for America if America had ever done something wrong anywhere in the world, <laughs> right? And, and apparently, America might have done something wrong. Yeah, because right after they had voted to override Obama's veto, 28 senators then came out suggesting that maybe this wasn't such a good idea, even though they had voted for it twice. Now, you might be going, oh, that's so strange, Trevor. I don't understand. Why would they vote to override the thing and then go back against it? Because it's not about what they feel. It's about what they want people to think they feel. They're not doing this to be good people. They just don't want to be the guys who voted against the 9-11 bill. Who are the only two people who voted against it? Obama, basically, and one other senator who's retiring. It's all about being reelected. Everyone has their excuses. And Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, he had the bullshit excuse ever. Nobody really had focused on the potential downside in terms of our international relationships. And I think it was just a, a ball dropped. I wish the president, you know, I hate to blame everything on him, and I don't, but it would have been helpful had he... Uh, we had a discussion about this much earlier than the last week. Blah, 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 blah. You know, for a guy who claims to hate, uh, to blame everything on Obama, he sure seems to blame everything on Obama. You know, like he's in bed with his wife, and she's like, don't worry, honey, it happens to lots of guys. He's like, it's not me, it's Obama! <laughs> it's Obama! It's not me, it's Obama! <laughs> and she's like, oh, you're thinking of him too? <laughs> That's what Mitch McConnell is saying. He wouldn't have made the same decision if only Obama had warned him. If only Obama had warned anyone. Like, maybe if he had done it on TV back in April with Charlie Rose. If we are in a situation where we're suddenly being hauled into various courts uh, because of uh, the claim that some individual has been harmed, uh, then uh, that will tie us up and it could harm U.S. servicemen, U.S. diplomats, uh, a whole uh, bunch of stuff. There's Obama on TV. You don't get a bigger warning than that. Actually, wait, I'm wrong. There was a bigger warning than that. It's that the fact that he vetoed the bill! He vetoed the bill! That's the warning! How do you not see this? You're like Moses standing at the parting of the Red Sea going, if only we had a sign from God! <laughs> if only there was a sign! <laughs> now, for more on the potential consequences of the 9-11 bill, we turn to Roy Wood Jr., everybody. Roy Wood Jr. Good to see you, Roy. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. To see you. How you been, Simba? You been good? I've, I've, I've been good, Roy. Yeah, man. Well, look, I don't know why you're so worried about it. Because if this bill opens up countries to getting sued, then all I gotta say is, finally! <laughs> wait, wait, Roy, you're excited about this? Hell yeah! In fact, I'd like to officially announce that I'm gonna be suing Europe. Wait, suing Europe for what? For slavery! <laughs> England, I'm starting with you, because that's where white people come from. And... <laughs> And you can't Brexit your way out of this one. Oh, in Spain? Oh, Spain, y'all better get y'all nap now, bitch, cause Roy's coming. <laughs> oh, 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 and I hadn't forgotten about the Dutch with your garbage-ass windmills and your wooden shoes. I'm about to put a clog in your whole legal system. 
you Rembrandt mother you. Roy, 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 Roy. Ooh, 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 Look, I'm not saying this is a bad idea. Well, this is a good one. <laughs> but, but then you have to prove that slavery was a form of terrorism. Oh, man, that's easy, man. I'll show him a copy of Django. I got that shit on Blu-ray. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm not stopping with Europe. Bermuda, you getting sued. Bahamas, you getting sued. Anywhere that slave ship stop, you getting sued. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take you to court and sue your ass. What? Roy. It's on. Roy. It's on. You can't just go around the world suing everybody. It's gonna get out of hand. <laughs> Tell it to the judge, Simba, because I'm suing Africa, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, why would you sue Africa? Because you didn't come rescue us. <laughs> you knew it wasn't a vacation. We didn't pack no luggage, bruh. <laughs> what you thought? You thought those white people was gonna take us snorkeling? That's where you thought we was going? Oh, right. I think Africans were dealing with some other shit, man. Oh, look, man, y'all about to deal with some serious shit now. <laughs> you just got served, bitch. Hey there, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like that video, click here to subscribe. Just keep the mouse pointer away from my face, please. Don't, no, don't, here, click here to, not, not my face, click here, please. Please, that looks, don't do that, that's sharp, that's sharp. Click here to subscribe.